All right, what's up guys? Your boy Jay Dizzle for Shizzle. Back in the hizzle. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm a single dad on a budget, man. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. Man, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a long time. I'm back in front of the camera, man, in the house, man. Go, about to go over my May and June budgets, man, and just show you and just, well, tell you what a <laughs> cluster F uh, May was. So let's get right into it, man. I don't want to keep you guys too long, man. I know you got... Uh, things to do and your time is very precious so I appreciate you guys spending a few of those moments with me so man May was just it was bad because um, I blew my budget man I blew my budget and um, there was really nothing I could do about it for the most part um, the thing that happened was we all know about the uh, colonial pipeline ransomware attack right that happened and so for me it was it messed me up because I had to go over my gas budget because when the ransomware thing happened, um, it shot the gas prices up here in Ohio way up. Um, we were over like $3.14, I think was the highest that I paid. Um, and, um, and so right now it's about two ninety nine, about $3. So and the lowest I've gotten it recently was like 279. So, you know, when I'm used to paying like 249, 239, something like that, like it just it blew my budget way up. So I was dipping into my other cash envelopes and things like that. And then um, so I just stopped tracking, man. So after that point, um, I just said screw it and I'll start fresh with with June's budget. Next thing that happened, um, the lady that does my daughter's hair, her house burnt down to the ground, like all the way down to the ground. <laughs> like, I mean, it was burnt to a crisp. And, um, and it was funny because I had seen the story on the front of the paper that I delivered, right? And I didn't even know that was her house um, until my mom had told me that she couldn't come do my daughter's hair because her house had burned down. And I was like, wow, that's kind of funny. I was just reading about a house that burned down and she's, and she's like, yeah, that was my house. <laughs> like, and I was like, oh, damn. So uh, my mom ended up taking up a collection for her. So I dipped a little bit into uh, the rest of my cash envelopes, you know, and, and gave, gave some money out of that to put towards her relief effort that my mom, you know, started. And then um, right after that, my mom got hit with a, um, a, a hacker on one of her accounts, one of her shopping accounts. And the company called was like, hey, we think, you know, you might have been compromised because we know that items usually get shipped to this address, you know, and you got like seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars going to some foreign address that we don't we've never seen. So you might want to, you know, check that out. So we'll, you know, freeze your account or whatever. You might want to call the police and stuff like that. You know, so the police got involved. They're like, hell, we'll, and it was, and it was uh, some a house that was like right around the corner from where my mom lived. So, um, so the police were like, you know, we'll stake off the house, you know, um, around those days that the the package is supposed to be, the, the packages are supposed to be delivered, and you know, we'll arrest whoever picks up the package. It's kind of like a sting operation almost. But the company was able to get the packages in transit, you know, from UPS, and then like so everything got diverted and all of that good stuff so so it was like so it was a win but then like my mom i told her instantly change your bank account passwords like change change that store's password and this that and third all of that so you know so that was kind of some of the things that i was dealing with as far as that and it just kind of you know i dipped into my emergency fund a little bit and all of that good stuff but i'm good now so i just started fresh with june june was a clean slate but um but one of the things I had going on for June also was um, we have a new payroll system. So my paychecks were getting messed up from my, my main job. Um, and it was just a cluster F there too. So I think it's finally straight now, but it's just, <laughs> I'll talk more about it when I go over my, my budget for June. So with that guys, man, I'm gonna um, turn on the, uh, the, sh the screen share and I'll show you guys what I have going on for June. And, um, and then we'll get into July, all right? So let's go, baby. All right, guys. So let's go over June's budget right quick. 
All right, so here are my projected amounts for my income and the actual amounts. Um, so for cleaning, number one, I project $613, um, you know, after all the taxes and child support, all of that stuff. Um, but I ended up getting $559.75. And like I said, that was because we're on a new payment um uh, we we clock in and out um on the app because you know there's just so many of us and the buildings that we clean are spread out this and the third so that's how they keep track of us um and each building has its own building code so you know they know we're at where we're supposed to be at at the time we're supposed to be at this and the third so this new app is just like it sucks it sucks ass really bad the last thing that we had we could actually if the app wasn't working we could actually clock in um on the website things like that so i guess they just you know the app has a you know gps locator thing that you can't you know you can't change the setting on that so they want to make sure people are at where they're at so i get it but it was it it, it was just it wasn't calculating my time correctly because i work i'm a full-time employee and everybody else is kind of like part-time so it was automatically taking out a half hour lunch because I wasn't getting like a full 80 hours, you know, for two weeks. And I'm like, why is this not calculating my right, correct time? So they figured it out. So I have to stay like an extra half hour later or whatever. I don't. I just leave my 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 phone at the building um, and just leave it clocked in because uh, then by the time I get done with my last building, I have to start my other job throwing papers, my side hustle. So it is what it is so they didn't get it you know they they ended up giving me retro pay this and the third um so my newspaper check i project for the first one you know 725 i ended up getting 872.97 and you know that's because of tips and things like that so it was really good like everybody like was tipping me and things like that like it's it's always good to see a check like that um i didn't put any notes in here you guys can kind of pretty much see what what i had going on uh, you know as far as like the difference and things like that so uh cleaning check number two i project the same thing 613 I ended up getting 604.51 that's because of the retro pay but um they didn't figure out that um that lunch thing you know taking that extra half hour it was taking a half hour out of my my eight hour day or whatever so that ended up just being the retro pay for the last check things like that so then they figured it out and i didn't get paid for the memorial day holiday either so it is what it is i wasn't going to put up a big fight it's like just whatever they'll they'll retro pay it so for newspaper two i project the same thing 725 um that's just because like that's just the base like salary or whatever for for the routes that i do so anything over that is always, you know, uh, when I get my pay stub, it's just like, you know, I see the tips and things on there. So I ended up getting 787.26, which was, you know, ended up being tips. So all in all, uh, my total income for June was 28.24 and 49 cents. Then my revolving expenses, you know, phone, car insurance, rent, gym, health insurance, blah, blah, blah. All of that doesn't change. Um, so all of those come out automatically. I set everything up on auto pay. Um, except, well, except my rent, living expense. Um, um, I write a check for that. So, but it, it hasn't changed. So uh, dental insurance, life insurance, my car, everything comes out automatically. So all of my expenses ended up, um, I paid my dental uh, until August. So I don't have to pay that. So my total expenses uh, were 8.22 and 32 cents. So my monthly income minus, minus my expenses, 28.24.49 minus 8.22.32 is $2,002.17. Now my cash envelopes. Um, I budget 500 for my cash envelopes. You guys um, just saw what I had left over. So I only ended up spending $361.14 out of my cash envelopes, which was really good. 
Um, so, and there's the cash envelopes change. I did put those notes in right there. So the amount I had to use towards debt, mainly my student loans, which is the last thing I got, um, is 1641.03. Um, I'm only gonna put 1344 on it because I didn't put it on for May because of everything that was going on, and I didn't, you know, I just didn't want to put any extra money on it then. So since we're still in the deferral program or the deferral period right now, or forbearance period, whatever, for the COVID-19 pandemic and all of that good stuff with the Department of Education, um, I'm going to put that 1344 on it since it's since my loans aren't accruing interest right now. So uh, that'll probably be the next video I'll show you guys just, you know, making a payment on that. All right. So that's all I got for you guys, man. I will see you in the next clip. All right, guys, so this is some of the change that I found um, like on the ground, uh, in parking lots, um, at work, <laughs> when they try to do my little setups, you know, like I'm not <laughs> mopping the floors and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna count it up and we'll put it in the, the change jar and we'll count it up and see how much we got here. Okay, guys, so I have 62 cents in pennies got them broken up into fives fives ten or five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty forty five fifty fifty five sixty and sixty two have fifty cents in nickels ten twenty thirty forty fifty and i have two dollars and thirty cents in dimes this is fifty one fifty two and thirty cents all right so that's gonna go in my change jar um, and then from last month, um, I did end up uh, adding money to it, but I lost the footage. So, but when I added it to it, it um, I now have $16.08 in there. So I'm going to put this change in there and we'll see what we got. Guys, uh, so I ended up now with $19.50. So I added $3.42 to the change jar, man. And stacking up baby this is all free money man just whatever i find on the ground so guys don't overlook that change man do not pass up that change you see it on the ground <laughs> see a penny pick it up all day long you will have good luck trust me um you know you can invest this um so at the end of the year i'm gonna see what we you know total up at the end of the year and um, um I, w I did meet with an investment uh person uh an investment advisor uh, and um, you know so I'm gonna try to start uh, getting an IRA going and things like that you know so um, you know this is something that could go towards that so you know don't knock it man this is money this is you know <laughs> it, you need sense to make dollars okay if it don't make dollars it don't make sense baby all right and then this right here is from my cash envelopes uh, my change for my cash envelope. So um, these are, this is, this was from uh, May. So I'm gonna add, th these are June's cash envelopes. So I'm gonna add this all up, put this on a spreadsheet, see what I have left and then add to it. Um, I just got paid. So I'm gonna add to these cash envelopes. I'm gonna take all the change out, put it in here. And then that goes into this big old change bucket <laughs> this is this is all my cash envelope money um plus other change that i had too so um i try to keep it separate because i want this to be all the change that i find like on the ground okay so you can see you know what i get it you know what i find for the whole year okay so so right now is july 1st we got 19 dollars 50 in there baby all right so I will show you guys what I have at the end of counting up everything from my cash envelopes from June. All right, guys. So this is all the change from um, my cash envelopes for June. So to spare you all of, <laughs> you know, counting it up, I've already done that. So my June change for gas, um, I have $113.91 left. That is really good. Uh, like I said, um, you know, the, the ransomware attack, you know, it, it's left our gas prices still kind of high. So 
um, it's it's lingering around 299 right now so um, this is still good for June so all this change right here so I'm gonna put the dollars the, the paper dollars in back into the cash envelopes and then the change is gonna go in my my bucket so I'm gonna just throw that right in here and then I'll just pour that in later okay for miscellaneous I have eight dollars and eighty six cents left so once again I'll just take the paper dollars and put that back in an envelope and then I'll take the change put that in there for groceries I had seven dollars and fifty two cents left so I'll take that change put it in there and then for entertainment I had eight dollars and fifty seven cents left all right so all that change is gonna go in there and that's dollars and cents guys so it's not just like all like dollar bills and stuff so all right so that's gonna go all of that's gonna go in my big change bucket that's stacking up so I'm gonna add all of that with my change jar uh, my my parking lot change jar <laughs> at the end of the year and we'll add it all up see what we got you know go to the little coin machine and see how much we got in there all right guys man so that's it for the video man hope you enjoyed it man and just got some some inspiration you know it's like, hey guys, things happen, man. You know, it's it's peaks and valleys, it's twists and turns. It's never gonna be a straight line to the finish line, man. Um, you know, I had a trying month uh, in May. Um, you know, June was pretty good, shaped up pretty well. Um, and, you know, actually, you know, came out ahead uh, at the end there with my cash envelope. So, gonna replenish those bad boys. Um, just got paid and uh, so, you know, I'm just looking forward to, you know, the next coming months and everything like that. Um, I'm probably, the next video I'll probably do is taking you through uh, uh, just just paying off another student loan, something like that. Um, and so really that's all I got for you guys, man. I just want you guys to keep grinding, man. Stay on your grind. Be the best version of yourself for yourself and not for anybody's validation, all right? So with that being said, that's all for the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. I love you. And there's nothing you can do about that, baby. Your boy Jay Dizzle for Shizzle. Single dad on the budget. I'm out. Peace.